Welcome along to our Zoom at noon session this Friday. Um, we're here at Zoom Ergos. Uh, my name is Daryl. I'm looking forward to um, taking you through this session. Some of you have been this through this session on previous seasons, um, but let me explain a little bit about Tabata. We're going to be working with four different base rates, 20, 22, 24, 26, but we will be working with a little bit of speed. So 20 will then become 24. So we'll be adding four, 22 becomes 26. 24 becomes 28, 26 becomes 30. In Tabata, in these training blocks, there'll be four of these blocks. You'll row in for one minute at the base rate, and then for 20 seconds, you will apply that plus four. You'll have 10 seconds to recover. We do eight sets of that, which is four minutes. Then one minute to row out at the base rate after that to flush out the legs to recover. And it's going to get pretty spicy by the time we get to uh, training block number four. Uh, I really like this format so much that um, I did it on a spin bike with Watts last night. Um, yeah, that was fun. Anyway, let's get, uh, let's get set up, everybody. So please press menu, select workout, new workout. It will be intervals, and those intervals will be variable. The first interval will be time. Please press time, input 10 minutes with three minutes of rest time. 10 minutes with three minutes of rest time, then please press tick. And of course, we'll be stretching during that rest time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then your next interval is also time. Please input six minutes with one minute 30 rest. Six minutes and one minute 30 rest. That's the first of your training blocks. Please press tick. Then please press time again. Six minutes with one minute 30 comes back up. Please press tick. Please press time again. Six minutes and one minute 30 comes up again. Please press tick. That's the third of your training blocks. Please press tick. Then please press time again. And six minutes, one minute 30 comes up again. Please press tick. That's the fourth of your training blocks. And then you'll press time again. And it will be just three minutes, no rest required. You will press tick and then you will press no more intervals. And that will be you set up, ready to go with this in your monitor, ready for next week's session. So much easier for you to set up. As I mentioned, I asked you to place your damper down to one. Remember where it was when you put it back up after your warm up piece. Really important that. I'm going to be asking you to push back from stroke rate 16 from front stops, increase the rate by one each minute for five minutes, and then every 30 seconds will increase by one. So nice and relaxed with the fingertips just over the front of the handle, shoulders are back and down, core is engaged, that body rock is forward, three, two, one, row. Stroke rate 16, one, six. Shoulders remain down, core engaged with our body rock in place. We're rowing on stroke rate 16. Lengthen the arms. If you're just joining us in a live session, please press just row. We're sitting on stroke rate 16 at the start of our warm up. Next stroke, up one, go. Stroke rate 17, one seven. Getting the knees down quickly, giving yourself plenty of time on the slide. So we really want to be quite conscious about our body rock during this lower stroke rate. So we want to transfer this sequencing and ratio as we climb our stroke rates. So today's session is not about 
throwing yourself up and down the slide at speed. We do want control. We want to avoid opening up at the hips too soon. Next stroke, we're up one. Go. Stroke rate 18, one eight. Once again, fingertips stay soft over the front of the handles. We're sitting on stroke rate 18. Keeping the length in the arms. Shoulders down. Checking in with your core crew. Next stroke, up one, go. Stroke rate 19. We always find that extra rate off the front end, getting the knees down more quickly. So sit on stroke rate 19, one nine. Put that control on the slide as we come forward. Keeping a lid on our rate at 19, one nine. Next stroke, up one, go. Stroke rate 20, please. If you want a clear picture of the ratio of our stroke with the sequencing that we have, of legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs. One second on the leg drive, two seconds on the slide or the recovery phase of the stroke. That's stroke rate 20. Remember that damper is down on once we're nice and relaxed. Little lift of the arms of the front end. No wobble in the handles. We've got a good connection. Um, stay long. Up one, next stroke, go. Stroke rate 21, please. We'll be increasing the stroke rate every 30 seconds by one stroke. We're currently sitting on stroke rate 21. Next stroke up one, go. Stroke rate 22. Keeping the length in the arms. Sure, we've got our body rock. Next stroke up one, go to 23, please. Remember your damper is on one. Heart rate will be starting to climb just now. Breathing pattern starting to change. We're up one, go. Stroke rate 24. Get the knees down more quickly.
Next straight right up one go. Stroke break 25 through. Give your knees down more quickly. Keeping the length of that stroke. Next stroke, you guessed it, go, of one to 26. Next stroke, up one go, stroke break 27 pro. Good job, good transitions. We are up one throw, 28. Nice work. Next stroke. Up one go, 29. Consistency of hand heights, body rock, stroke length. Next stroke, up one, stroke break then. Easy. Easy or well done. Do we get the heart rate up? Yes or no? Are you going to put your damper back up? I'm watching. Put it back up. <laughs> it's tempting, right, Nigel? No one's watching. All right. Fingertips on the toes. Pressing the knees down, please, for a hamstring stretch. Your body will thank you. And sitting it up tall, zip up through your core, right foot on the floor, we rotate around please, to mobilize through the lumbar spine. It'll really help with that body rock. And come back to center please, other side. Swap the feet over. These stretches are so important, both feet on the floor, core is in, hands on thighs, slowly roll up. I don't want to be rude, but I'm looking around my screen here. And I'm seeing mostly masters rowers, masters age groups. So we have to ask ourselves a question. How much time do you want to spend on the water or how much time do you want to spend injured? Less time injured, more time on the water is the answer. Quad stretch, please. So stretches before and after every session, super important, other side. Pushing the foot down into the hand, once again for a more active stretch. Good, then we cross that leg over, core is engaged, hips are square, shoulders remain square. Opening out the front of the hips, just getting into the piriformis and the glutes. Other side, please. 
So if you join us midway through the warm up or just after the first explanation, we have six training blocks, sorry, four training blocks in six minutes. Coming down to the floor, please. Reflex stretch. So four training blocks of six minutes, one minute 30 rest in between. Training block number one will be stroke break 20 base, rowing in for the first minute. Then we'll be working on 20 seconds work, 10 seconds recovery. Other side, please, for the hip flexor. And uh, we'll be taking it up four on the work, back down to 20 on the recovery. That recovery of 10 seconds is definitely active recovery. And by the time we get to training block four, you'll be like, what recovery? All right, back over on the earth, please. We have 20 seconds before we push off. It will feel much heavier now that you put your damper back on. We've got less than 10 seconds now before we push back in training block one. In three, two, one, rowing on stroke rate 20. All that lovely sequencing you just worked on and that ratio during your warm up. Let's put it into play just now. We row in for one minute at stroke rate 20. Shoulders remain relaxed and down. Body rocks over. Little lift of the arms at the front end. Focus crew. We're getting ready for our first training block. The first set of Tabata. Next stroke up for go. Stroke rate 24. 20 seconds. Drop. Stroke rate 20. 10 seconds. Active recovery. Next stroke. Up. Once again, 20 seconds. Stroke rate 24. Drop. That's two of eight sets done. Each set is 30 seconds in duration. Next stroke. Up. Stroke rate 24. Keep a lid on it. Drop. 10 seconds active recovery. Just 10 seconds go very quickly. Stroke rate 20. Next stroke, go. Stroke rate 24. Control on the slide. Keep a lid on the rate of 24. Drop. For grade 20. Halfway. Go. For grade 24. Four sets remain. Four intervals in this first training block. Training block one of four. Drop. Everything stays in place. Stroke rate 20. Next stroke. Up. Stroke rate 24. On the legs. Lengthen the arms. Drop. Stroke rate 20. 
Six of eight sets down. Next stroke, go. Wait for. Keep your core. Hands into the base of the chest. Drop. Seven of eight sets down. Great, great, 20. Next stroke, go. From 24, into the lane of eight. Drop. Great, great, 20. Well done. We'll row out for one minute. Let's throw it great 20. Going on, all that sequencing in place. Easy. Well done. Training block one of four is done. So the rules of engagement remain the same all the way throughout, but we'll be working with different stroke rates. So our next training block will be stroke rate 22, our third one stroke rate 24, and our fourth one stroke rate 26. Stand up, sit down, take a drink, whatever it is that you need to do in your 90 seconds between training blocks. Always nice to have a stand up and uh, get some extension through the body because you're sat in a forward flex position. So it just takes a little bit of pressure off the lower back. So once again, looking for that sequencing, looking for that change up in terms of the ratio. Um, Maintaining that ratio, getting those knees down quickly. So it shortens each section of the ratio. It doesn't become a one-to-one. -one. You still keep that ratio like it's stroke rate 20 in place that you uh, worked with earlier. But for now, we'll be pushing back at stroke rate 22, keeping a ratio on the sequencing of the stroke. Full crew. Welcome to training block two of four in three, two, one row at 22, throwing in for one minute. Hands away, body over, sitting on straight break 22. Straight on it, more engaged. Little lift of the hands to the front end. As we work through these stroke rates, you may decide that you have a favorite or preferred, or you've reached your limit before training block four. That's absolutely fine. Just stay with the structure of the 20 and 10 seconds. Full crew, next stroke, up ball, go. Stroke rate 26. Twenty-two. 
Next strike, up. Keep your shape. Avoid opening up too soon at the hips. Drop and two. Two of eight intervals done. Next stroke, go. And six. Keep the length of the arms. Drop. 22. Next stroke, go. Keep the leg. That 26. Drop. Halfway, four intervals of eight done. In training block, two or four. Next stroke, go. Pull the leg, drive the knees down. Core engaged. Drop. Five sets of eight done. Next stroke, go. Keep a little on 26, crew. Take the arms, body rocks over. Drop. Six of eight done. Next stroke, go. Keep a little on the right. That's 26. Drop. One interval remains. Next stroke, go. 26. Drop. Row out, stroke rate 22, hand heights please. Row it out, flush the legs out, that's stroke rate 22. Hold the timing. Keep your rope. Easy. Well done. That should have been fun. Like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, wait till block four. So, have a stand up, sit down, take a drink, roll on, whatever you need to do over this next, uh, just over a minute now. It's 90 seconds of recovery.
you want to have a stretch, have a stretch. Walk around, open the window, take a drink, put the dog out, whatever it needs to be. But we do want to keep our focus. We are halfway through. We've done two training blocks of four. Our next training block will be a base rate of 24, pushing up to 28. On the first stroke, as you push the stroke rate up, it comes off the foot plate. You hold your shape, avoid opening up too soon, trying to find the rate. You find it on the speed of the leg drive as you take your knees down. All right. So crew, have your sip. You've got 10 seconds. To that uh, interval or training block number three, two, one, row. Stroke rate 24, that's the new base. Flushing the legs out. That 24. Nice and settled on the rate of stroke rate 24 in training block three or four. We'll be adding four on the 20 second work interval. You do the math. Go. Stroke rate 28. Hold your focus. Keep a lid on the rate. Drop to 24. One of eight done. Go. Stroke rate 28. Drop. Stroke rate done. Stroke rate 24. More engaged. Next stroke. Go. Straight on it. Drop. Twenty four. Next stroke, go. Drop, halfway. In training block three or four. Next stroke, go. Looking good, Kurt. Hold the shape. Drop. Five done, three remain. Next stroke, go. Drop. Six done. Two sets remain. 
go. Next stroke, go. Trip. Twenty four. Throw it out. One minute. Keep it on twenty four crew. Easy. Well done. Three or four. Nice work. One more remains. Yes, Paul, you did choose to be here by your own choice. Ah, how are we doing, crew? Got a thumbs up if we're all good. Looking forward to stroke rate 26 base. And, th and 30, JK's all over it. Stroke rate 30 will be a race pace. So shorter training blocks for obvious reasons, we've increased the intensity, short periods of time, working anaerobically, don't let the body try to recover. Recover as much as it can during those 10 seconds. Get a little bit more ATP, back into those muscle fibers before you push back again. You're depleting it all the time. You're trying to renew it from those breaks and becoming more efficient at it. Ready for those sprints out on the water when you get into those red boys. The last 200, 250 of your race, whatever it happens to be. So we have 15 seconds, stroke rate 26 pace. I will do my best to keep talking. And six, five, four, three, two, one row. Settle into 26. Tall and tidy. Nice face. We're rowing in at stroke rate 26, flushing the legs out. Training block four four. Sequencing in place. Focus crew. Next stroke, up four, go. Group rate 30. Drop. Group rate 26. Good. 
go. Survey study. Two up. Three six. Two sets done. Six remain. Go. Drop to twenty six. Go. Keep a little on thirty crew. Drop halfway, halt twenty six. Keep your sequencing. Go. Drop. Go. Two up, six done, two remain. Go. Two up. What remains? Go. Wind it down. Three six. Stay on it. Thirteen strokes at twenty six. Easy. Oh, whose idea was that? Good job, crew. How awful was that? We've got 90 seconds, We're just over a minute now, actually. Before we cool down, deconstruct our stroke. 
Let the heart rate come down. As you have been working anaerobically, your heart rate will be quite high. And of course, if you feel that you have reached your stroke rate limit, happy for you to stay where that was and just still work with that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off at your preferred rate. So the heart rate should have come down. We're on top of that adrenaline rush. That's sending all those endorphins around your head. You're welcome. We are going to be pushing back at stroke rate 20 from front stops for 30 seconds on full slide, breaking it down to three quarters, half, quarter, arms and bodies, arms only. Are you with me, crew? In three, two, one, go. Check back in with your core. Hand heights, please. Stroke rate 20. Next stroke, three quarter slide, go. Making sure we have that connection at the front end, even on three quarters, core engaged, shoulders down. Next stroke, half slide, go. Keep everything engaged. Every stroke needs to be positive because every stroke counts. Next stroke, quarter slide, go. Popping every stroke into your positive muscle memory. Arms and bodies only go. I'm going to ask for 45 seconds here. I want you to think about keeping your engaged with your core. Shoulders are down and you're lengthening through your hamstrings. Working with a positive body rock. Fifteen seconds more per and arms only go. Keep your hand heights. Easy or nicely done. We have fingertips under toes. We're sliding back in the seat into our hamstring stretch. Let the hamstrings lengthen, let the lower back lengthen. Your body will thank you for this. Oh, lower back just released, bonus. Get a little further into that stretch. Keep that extension through the upper body or oh, just release it again. And sitting up nice and tall, please. Right foot on the floor, zip up through your core, rotate around, T-shape through the torso and the shoulders. Chin is level with the floor, please. And we slowly come back to center as we look to remobilize our spine. We've been sat in one position, moving through one plane. 
essential that we wake up that lower back, increase its range of motion, coming back to center. Both feet are on the floor, please. I'm just gonna push the hips off the seat, pop the fingertips back under the toes, slowly straighten the legs, looking back between the knees. Body weight comes forward just ever so slightly onto the balls of the feet. Then you roll up and rebuild your spine. Little forward fold there from yoga for you. You're welcome. We step to the side, please. Foot is up behind. I'm pleased to say I've actually sprung a link. It's coming out the end of my fingertips. Can that be right? Other side, please. Oh, nicely done. Core engaged, shoulder square, hips are square. You can see the balance everywhere. Well done. Cross that leg over, sitting it down, please. Getting into the glutes just now. Oh, a little press down on the inside, just below the knee itself. And the other side, please. So just to let you know, I'm not with you this Monday. I'm taking advantage of the bank holiday uh, this week. But I will definitely be back with you next Friday. We're coming down to the floor, please. Uh, next Friday, when we uh, hit the Tabata training block once again. So... There's four lots of six minutes, evil little six minutes. <laughs> and the other side, please. Pressing forward through the back hip. Oh, no, if you're lucky, nice little release and easy there. Well, crew, thank you so much for joining me today here at zoomergos.com. It's been my pleasure to leave this session for you. If you're doing it live, hopefully I'll see you again next Friday. If you're doing it on a recording, there's loads more with lots of other leaders as well. Thank you for supporting zoomergos.com. I mean, Darrell, you've been great. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Whatever you choose to do, get out of the water. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.